once again, if you could put it together for Trey Jones and the crew for making this happen. First off, you have the idea, and then, okay, can we do this? Can we actually do it? And then the third thing is, is it actually gonna be fun? Is it gonna be worth it? It's almost like surreal. You know, we're out there for a month to build this thing, for people to enjoy it for two days and it's gone. Permanently, it's gone forever. It's not like it's getting put in a warehouse. It has disappeared, it's gone. foremost that Swamp Fest is for people that work a nine to five that want to escape the winter to just come have fun, you know. There is no special wristband for the guy that's winning the X Games or you know, anything like that. I think every year we try to build something bigger and better than the year before. We don't even have a concrete slab, you know? We're, we're starting out with dirt on the ground. And by the end of it, we have people flying from all over the world that are expecting this absolutely incredible course. Terrible idea. People are gonna love it. year was something that I had very little experience with. Hagrid, he's like a wizard of concrete. I didn't know if it was going to work. Boone and his crew, they hit it out of the park. I mean, thank God those dudes were in town building a skate park that they, you know, when that concrete showed up, I was like, shit, this is real. Like, we're, we're really doing this. And um, Boone and Yarbs and Ben, they, they took full charge and I was just there to move mud or do whatever they needed to do. But you know, huge, enormous shout out to, you know, Boone and his crew because without them, that concrete bowl wouldn't have happened. I have a bunch of friends out there that are literally just dedicating their time to help. Dave, Marcel, my brother, my dad, Corey and Josh, Baboon and his crew for doing the concrete. We are a DIY operation. E eternally grateful to uh, the entire crew for helping pull this off. We've kind of figured out a way to, you know, use our resources of how to build things more efficiently. <laughs> Digging his mouth and everything. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a blast. <laughs>
got this going here and a deck going back here and then we got the vert wall going right here. make something that is so gnarly that it's crazy, but also gnarly enough to where it's doable. There's a lip, you're gonna go out and somebody's gonna go shtunk, like fake it, your tires will just like hit the ground and it'll kind of push you just back out. <laughs> build a pole jam that's, you know, 16 feet high, you don't really know if somebody's gonna be able to get to the top of it. I'm not an expert in this, you know, I didn't take, I, I didn't go to school for Swamp Fest. I'm, I'm just, I'm just kind of trying to figure it out. I started working really, really closely with Chris Gregson uh, over the past few years, and he was like, yo, let's do a pole jam. And I was like, all right, yeah, let's do it. You know, skateboarders, they need shit to be a lot, you know, smoother to skate on, you know? Well, I once had this doubt. I thought she'd be my but I know how it is whenever somebody that's not a bike rider builds something, and that shit sucks. <laughs> so I want to make sure that skateboarders that do come to the event they're like this shit is sick and it's just sketchy enough to where it's skatable but also still fun for them skating again next year and from years on out. Oh, he got over the fence. Get out of here. Whoa, he jumped it. for the past seven years. I kind of have an idea of what to expect at this point of how things are gonna go. But at the same time, the things that take time are like the monotonous stuff, like making sure you have a flat bottom, putting a hundred sheets of plywood on the ground so people can ride it. Making sure that there's a bank that has a roll-in into the roller coaster rail. You know, making sure that when people land, there's a quarter pipe there that they can turn around on. You know, things like that that are like, you don't really think about, that take up a lot of time and a lot of money. You don't start realizing like, oh shit, that's right, we forgot to put a piece of plywood here. I'm not an expert at Swamp Fest, and like I said, every year some shit goes wrong. People start coming through the gate. I can kind of sit back and just be like, okay, everybody's having fun because that's my main goal. 
I want the person that worked really hard to save enough money to come to Florida to have a damn good time. Whether they're on their bike, skateboard, a pit bike, side by side, whatever it is. I want them to have fun all weekend long. T minus about 10 hours till the gates open. And uh, still putting particle board on the ground. <laughs> Is just making everything like perfectly rideable now. See, I missed four studs. He was fucking me up. Alright, alright, alright. Everything is kind of been tested. Yes. <laughs> kind of. Nobody's gone to the top of the rail, so we don't know if that's possible. Nobody's on the water slide loop, so we don't know if that's possible. Nobody carved over the basketball hoop, so we don't know if that's possible. But I'm sure all of that will happen. and provide the stage, but the people and the participants and the fans are what create that experience. I'm not on a dirt bike jumping over a fire. I'm not grinding a pole jam to the top. I'm not doing any of that shit. All I did was provide the stage and let people go ape shit. So at the end of the day, it's the people is that what makes it, you know, makes the experience. <laughs>
how much these events meant to me. All I can do is just pour my heart and soul and create the, the event that I wanted to go to as a kid. I'm just hoping that Swamp Fest creates lifelong bike riders, you know? I think it's gonna be bigger and better than ever. You know, we got a new location. We're gonna do concrete. We're gonna have water slides, a whole new set of trails, all of it. It's gonna be insane.